heat of the fantasy basketball season here. And here's a few guards I would look to hit on waivers this week. And it's a pretty decent list going into the week. The first guy's Josh Jackson of the Detroit Pistons. So Jackson here, more playing time has opened up over the last few weeks here. And games for Jackson. Now with Derrick Rose traded to the New York Knicks last night. If you didn't check that video out, go check it out. But anyway, Jackson, he's going to get more opportunities. And in the last week, he's playing anywhere from 25 to 30, 35 minutes a game. Is Jackson on the season? He's ranked 227 in fantasy basketball with 12.3 points per game, 3.6 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 0.9 steals a game, a block a game, 1.5 threes per game, 67% from the foul line, and 41% from the field for Jackson. But in the last couple of weeks now, his ranks bumped up to 180 overall with 20 points a game. 6.3 rebounds, 3.3 assists, a steal, 3.3 threes made per game, 62% from the foul line, and 46% from the field. So now with Derrick Rose out of town, more playing time will open up there. Wayne Ellington, he's been banged up and struggling. And Jackson, we saw early flashes from him early in the season where he was getting things going and then he got injured a little he missed a few games but since January 30th he's been on a tear versus Golden State on the 30th 24 minutes 17 points six rebounds two threes 44 percent from the field then February 2nd he played 30 minutes 22 points eight rebounds two assists two blocks he hit three threes 46% from the field, February 5th, 25 minutes again at Phoenix, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 threes, and he was 3 for 10 from the field, and his breakout game came versus the Lakers on February 6th, 37 minutes of play, 28 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, and now he's available in a whopping 76% of fantasy leagues. Some owners have gone out there and picked up Jackson, and you should too with his scoring ability and his playing time open up. The second player to pick up on wave is this week is Kendrick Nunn of the Miami Heat. Nunn, he's been back in the rotation now the last few games with injuries to Avery Bradley and Goran Dragic. And on the season, he's ranked 151 is Nunn with 13.2 points a game, 3.4 rebounds, 2.4 assists, 1.6 threes a game, 82% from the foul line, and 48% from the field. But in the last few weeks now, he's ranked number 77 overall is Kendrick Nunn. 20.5 points a game, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, 3 threes a game, 50% from the foul line, which isn't great, obviously, and 60% from the field, but puts him at number 77 overall. And Nunn last season in the playoffs, we just saw his playing time go down. And now here in the last couple games... From January 30th to February 30th, he was a healthy scratch, but now with the injuries, February 5th, 32 minutes he played, 11 of 17 from the field, 25 points, 8 rebounds, and assists, 2 steals, 2 threes, and then February 7th, last night, versus the New York Knicks, 16 points, 4 threes, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, and 54% from the field, so none, we've seen it before this season, he has a big couple games here and there, and he really could get the job done. As long as he's playing 25, 30 minutes a game, he's a player that should be rostered in 10 and 12 team leagues pretty much everywhere is none. And I think it's going to continue. Drogic, he's up there in age. They're not going to rush him back. Avery Bradley, now there's no timetable for his return. So Kendrick Nunn, he's out there in forty in 64% of fantasy leagues. And you should go out there and get him. He's going to produce. He's going to help in scoring. He's a decent rebounder as a guard. And he can pass the basketball decent as well and hit some three. Third guard on the list is Derrick Rose, the newly acquired New York Nick, reunited once again here with Tom Thibodeau, and if you didn't see that video, Rose traded to the Knicks for Dennis Smith Jr. in a second round pick for 2021. So Thibodeau and Rose reunite for the third time here, and obviously he's a Tom Thibodeau favorite, and Derrick Rose, he's going to get the playing time. They didn't bring him in here, or the Knicks, just to have him sit on the bench, and I think it was going to be a 25-30 minutes a game He's going to play in New York either as a starter or coming off the bench. But Alfred Payton, he's been a total nightmare in New York. Emmanuel Quickly, he's been pretty good, but he's still a rookie. 
and has to learn the ropes. But Derrick Rose, a good veteran to bring in. The Knicks, they didn't give up much to get him. Dennis Smith, he just hasn't done much in New York after the trade in the Porzingis trade with Dallas. But anyway, on the season, Derrick Rose ranked 146, 14.2 points a game, two rebounds a game. He averaged 4.2 assists, 1.2 steals. He only gave you a three a game, 84% from the foul line and 42% from the field. So last season, Rose, he was a little better than he was now last year at 18 points a game and 5.6 assists, but now his assist went down. But like I said, with Tom Thibodeau in New York, Derrick Rose, he's going to be a good player, I think, for fantasy owners. And he's available in 45% of fantasy leagues. So if somehow he's out there on your waiver wire or free agency, whatever you want to call it, Derrick Rose, he's the guy to go out there and get. He's going to play major minutes, I believe, for this Nick team. And he should be owned in all 10-team leagues or deeper right now. He's going to get the opportunities. He, right now, Derrick Rose, he still has something left in the tank. I thought he was done a few seasons ago, to be honest. But he keeps it going. And he hasn't played since February 1st, is Rose. So now he'll be motivated. New team. It was between the Knicks and the Clippers. But Rose, he went to New York with Tom Thibodeau. And the Knicks, it's a good move for them to make. And they're trying to play in for that 8th to 10th seed. So Derrick Rose, he's going to play. And he should be picked up. The next guard you should pick up on waivers is TJ McConnell. And the Indiana Pacers. McConnell, we know he's a great passer. And he's a guy that just hasn't got much playing time the last couple of years, it seems like. But the Pacers, they've been playing him now. And they've been reaping the benefits from the youngster McConnell. He, he's been good, doing good the last few games on the season. He's ranked 128, 4.7 points a game, 3.1 rebounds, 6.7 assists, 1.7 steals, 28% from the foul line, which is abysmal, 48% from the field, and he's ranked 128 on the season. But over the last week, week or two here, he's really pumping up those numbers as McConnell, especially in the assist category. On the last few weeks now, 6.3 points a game, 2.8 rebounds, 10 assists, 2.0 steals. He got 41% from the field, which isn't great, but he's given all his steals and assists. And let's see his last few games here. February 3rd in Milwaukee, 6 points, 2 rebounds, 12 assists in 28 minutes with a steal on a block. Then February 5th versus New Orleans. Nine points, two rebounds, a whopping 15 assists, and two steals with a three-pointer and 50% from the field. And then February 7th versus Utah, four points, four rebounds, six assists, and a steal in 20 minutes. Not great, but he's playing about 20 to 30 minutes a game. He's out there in 73% of fantasy leagues is McConnell. And he's a player that should be on your roster, especially if you need assists. He's more of an ad, though. In my opinion, 12-team leagues are deep, or 10-team leagues, I don't think he does enough scoring or anything else besides assisting and stealing. But if you need assist and steals, he's a good get in 12-team leagues are deeper. And the fifth and final guard, back on the radar finally, that you should add on waivers is Lou Williams of the Los Angeles Clippers. For a few weeks, I've been saying to drop sweet Lou, but Lou, he's coming back to form now. On the season, his stats aren't great as all for the former six-man. 10.3 points a game, 2.2 rebounds, 3.3 assists for Williams. 1-3, 85% from the foul line, and an awful 39% from the field. But the last few weeks, his ranking has jumped up in the span. 235 years on the season, but the last couple weeks, 181, he's jumped to 13.3 points a game, 3 rebounds, 4.3 assists. 1.1 steals, 1.3 threes a game, 87% from the foul line, 40% from the field, and a couple games he's erupted now since February 3rd at Cleveland. He played 23 minutes, 5 of 8 from the field, 15 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, and a block. Then versus Boston, February 5th, 6 of 10 from the field, 18 points, 2 rebounds, 6 assists, a steal, and then last night, a good ball game versus Sacramento in a bad loss, though. 6 of 16 from the field. He was 10 for 10 from the line. 23 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals. So Lou Williams, he's getting to the line more now. In the last couple games, he's playing better. 
And that's what you want to see, Lou. He's a pure scorer. He's been in the league 16 seasons, and he's a player we knew. He's just going to break out of the slump. I don't think he's really lost a step watching him. And the key for him is getting to the foul line. And this is why he's produced in the last three games. He's had 19 free throw attempts in those three games. And obviously the stats have gone out. So Lou Williams, he's available in 56% of fantasy leagues. And on as they're going back out there and picking up him again with his percentage going up 5%. So that's a few guards. I would look to add on the waiver wire here in week eight of the fantasy basketball season.